Singer Marina and the Diamonds has just wrapped up her first U.S. tour. Her debut CD, The Family Jewels, is winning her comparisons to Kate Bush and Regina Spector. The grid music expert Ryan Downey met up with Marina at her show in Los Angeles. Hey, I'm Ryan Downey for The Grid, and I am outside the El Rey Theater in Los Angeles for the final night of Marina and the Diamonds U.S. tour. I got a chance to catch up with Marina backstage, and we talked about the U.S. shows as well as her new record, The Family Jewels. Marina and the Diamonds, final night of your U.S. tour. Welcome. How are Hello. you? Hello. I am, I am fabulous. I'm very excited and nervous about my last night. Your audience, of course, are the Diamonds. I want to talk to you about the name a little bit. You know, you always hear the old joke about Pink Floyd, like, hey, which one's Pink or which one's Floyd? <laughs> and, uh, you know, does it get tiresome correcting people and explaining what the name means? Um, and could you tell us a little bit about it? Not at all. I don't get tired of it because it's what I live for. It's like, you know, I had the foresight five years ago to imagine that one day there would be a group of people who would make me what I am. And, um, and again, it's, I, I don't want it to be this kind of solo artist pop star project. I'm not a pop star. I'm someone who loves performing. I love a show. I'm a very theatrical uh, artist. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I really want to connect with the audience. I don't want to just go out there, sing the songs, sing the hits, go back in, you know, go get pissed. It's like, <laughs> I want people to feel that they've had a real experience at that show, whether I'm playing 60 people or 6,000. Now your record has sort of uh, found its way into America now with a special edition with videos and extra tracks and stuff like that on iTunes. And I always wonder about this, uh, you know, when you, when you come over from the UK and uh, you meet people like me, for example, who are obsessed with most, th most things British, do we strike you as, as silly? Is it, uh, you know, because I mean, that's just life and culture for you, right? When I perform a video dressed in an American flag, <laughs> don't you think I'm weirder? <laughs> that's kind of where I was going with that, actually. You know, there's the American flag outfit, there's the American flag oh, behind no, you. I don't find you weird. Uh, I love American people dearly, and that's why um, I, I make my point and I wrote a song you know, about the, the fall of the American dream. I'm very interested in social issues for my generation. And that's what Marina and the Diamonds really is. It's for the public and it's by the public because, uh, you know, if they didn't buy 800 tickets tonight, I wouldn't be here. So, and, and they're real now. Well, Marina, thank you so much. Marina and the Diamonds, to see more of our interview, to learn more about Marina and everything she has going on, head on over to ifc.com slash the grid.